Good morning, Floss Two. Bam, stitching between the lines. Um, today, December, Friday, December 6, 2019. Video number 67. <laughs> Sorry. You can't see it, but I can. If you can see that your glasses need cleaned or have lint, it's probably a bad thing. Anyway, Friday, December 6th, uh, snowy. It won't stop snowing <clears throat> around here. So it's super bright where I'm looking, but um, it's not in this room, <laughs> super bright. So anywho, we started some Christmas, no, just a simple, this year's simple, this year's the year of simple Christmas decorations. Um, I put this tree in here this year. Let me get myself out of the way. Uh, it Last year I bought it and I put it in a different room. It's a flocked tree. If you've never done a flocked tree, think very, 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 very hard about it because it's messy. I need to vacuum under the flocked tree because the cat loves to chew on the tips of the branches and leaves little puddles of flocking around. And it's messy. Did I say that? <clears throat> you can't touch it without making a mess. But anyway, I put all my farmhouse ornaments on there that I stitched last year and some little red and some little black ornament balls. And then I had some tin uh, garland, like there's, oh, can I can I do it? Right there's like a tin Santa. I bought a string of it when I was in South Dakota last year and it's really neat, really definitely neat um, Santa and reindeer. And then I uh, was at Hobby Lobby and they had more, but not nearly as nice and not Santa and stuff. It's like shaped like metal ornaments. So a couple strings of those on there and that's it. Oh, and the top hat <laughs> as a tree topper because it's black and it, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, this year's, uh, we're going a little simple. We haven't put up our real tree yet. I think we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, the girls will come and we'll go tromping through the snow and find a tree. Uh, we enjoy doing that. I, <sighs> I keep saying we're getting too old for this. But anyway, that's our tradition. And then on the wall, I put, I don't think I hung this here last year. I think the year before, uh, Crabapple Hills, um, I'll be home for, over the river. That's what that line there says. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Embroidered, quilted by me, piece by me, all the things. Uh, I hang them, my quilts in, a cl in the closet and I hang them on, uh, hangers that I've put a big thick wooden not wooden sorry cardboard uh, tube on like my husband cut the tubes to the right length so I can fit them on the hanger so that the um, quilts don't like turn such a sharp corner as they hang but one of the learning curve factors is that I need to fold them so the folds run side to side so when they hang it pulls them out these folds run top to bottom and I think it hang, hung there for two years because I had a different quilt I hung up there last year, I'm pretty sure. So uh, when it came time to hang quilts, apparently getting the iron and the ironing board out wasn't in the cards or I ironed it and that's still what it looks like. Life goes on, wrinkles fall out, whatever. It still looks nice. And I would say in a picture right, like this in a video, the wrinkles are exaggerated from what they look like in real life. So we're going with it. There we go. Um, <clears throat> the things, I should have made a list. Uh, you, sometimes you like say, oh, I should make the video now. <laughs> Without a lot of forethought. I had some things to do this morning and an appointment at nine and I was going to go, I had to go to our area food pantry and drop some things off and to the library. And the library doesn't open till noon, and the food pantry doesn't open till 10. And so I'm waiting in their parking lot. I said at the doctor's office, I said, I have to go down, you know, to the food pantry and drop some things off. And it doesn't open for another 20 minutes. I could have waited in your waiting room a little longer, says nobody ever. But who's complaining, really? I could have waited there for my appointment longer, or I waited in the parking lot of the food pantry. So anyway, life went on. The library doesn't open until noon, so I have to go back out and do that. And after I was done with all those things, I was going to bake cookies and make a video and all those things. And <clears throat> I thought, I'll just make the video now 
because then I can use the library's good quality internet <laughs> to upload it. Um, somebody speculated, I'm really far behind on my videos, uh, just Thanksgiving and all the chaos. My kids were all home, maybe not all at once. I got, we got, to, it was kind of nice. We got to spend a little individual time with each of them, uh, which was nice. That doesn't always happen. So I'm always happy to do those kinds of things. My son unfortunately flew out on Saturday morning, which was a day before the yuck started here. Uh, would have been a challenge to get him home, I think, because uh, when we first went outside in the morning on Sunday, there was a sheet of ice. Our driveway was a sheet of ice. So it was not a pretty day. I think we ended up with eight inches which has stuck around all this time and it snowed yesterday some more and it's snowing today some more. Yesterday it was like a blizzard, snowing sideways for a long time. So fun times already this early in December. Um, so anyway, I think I was going somewhere with that. Oh, about why I'm so far behind on videos. And then prior to that, somebody mentioned <clears throat> how they found, oh, I know it was Priscilla and Chelsea. Chelsea mentioned how when she has to splice videos together, she finds that it takes a lot longer to upload. And I had started to notice that, that if I put pictures in, the upload, like I, don't, you, I know you guys who make videos have noticed a lack of consistency in the upload. And I'm going to speculate that if you've added things, possibly that's coming into play. So I'm, I'm not going to add any photos, I don't think, except for the one at the beginning where I show like the date. <clears throat> if I remember to put it in, <laughs> I took the picture. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to go use the library's uh, Wi-Fi. I can just leave my iPad right in the car in the parking lot and see if I can't get the video uploaded. So I'm doing the video now instead of when I'm done with the errands and then I'll do cookies some point. My kids, a couple kids are coming home tomorrow and we'll go, like I said, get the tree and stuff. So I thought I should do a batch or two of cookies. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I actually had this idea that I would bake a batch a week and then freeze a lot of them. And then come Christmas, I would have, you know, a nice variety. Hasn't happened hasn't happened there's been a lot happening around here but none of it's baking cookies so oh I shouldn't say that totally my daughter baked cookies at Thanksgiving I said could you bake some cookies please <laughs> she likes to do that and I didn't feel like it so anyway uh all the things uh, I did get some stitching even though I'm hardly ever watching any floss tube I'm trying I'm trying and I'm trying to stay up on top of things but I'm falling behind so I'm getting so far behind that like when I watch somebody's video I have to watch the one I missed plus the most recent one and usually I'm a little more on top of that but there's Christmas movies come on there's Christmas movies and family time a lot of family around and we just want to be even if we're watching something on TV just doing the same thing together so anyway Back to the purpose of this whole video. Uh, I have to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. I uh, don't really play up my birthday very big. I don't really, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> not looking for, a, you know, a lot of fuss and stuff. But I posted my birthday start slash finish. My birthday start from 2018. My birthday finish 2019. I thought I could finish it a little earlier by two days. But I didn't. I actually finished it on my birthday. And here it is. It is. Let me get it right because I don't get it right. Lavender and Lice's Spirit of Christmas. Uh, I have the picture still in a little baggy. Picture. Um, most of you know the saga. I started it on a piece of navy dark blue opalescent. And it was a catastrophic fail. And so I think in April I finally broke down and got out a piece of... A light blue even weave. It's just a very nondescript. I keep teasing you with the picture. I don't know. It just says this. 28 count even weave. Don't know where it came from. It says Weigart. Look at that. Don't know anything about it. Oh, except that it costs allegedly $5.99. I don't know where I got it. Don't know if I got it on sale. Don't know. It was there. I picked it up. It worked. Here it is. Isn't that something? Oh, the light is kind of freaking out Santa's face. So, Lavender and Lace. 
much like Prairie Schooler, can do amazing things with very few colors. There's not a lot of shades of red. This is, I believe, three shades of red. And then in his coat where you need some darker shadows, there's a blending of one of those shades with the dark brown 3371. I don't know. I forgot. And then some of the dark brown itself. So that's like five shades only. The white slash moving into a little bit of a yellow is three or four shades and then here's like a little gray involved in his hair but when you get into the fluff it's, it sticks with more of a yellowish uh, and the greens are five shades of green I think not a lot of colors not I the box I left the box downstairs I was going to show you the box at how few colors there were I'm not ironing this. I'm taking it to my framers as is. People always talk about how they wash them and whatever. I've never washed a piece unless there was a need. My framer, that's their, that's what they do. I'm afraid to iron it because of all the crinic. So they'll know, again, they'll know what to do. I uh, think it's lovely. Um, I didn't have the exact, like this gold crinic is not high luster, but I think it's fine. And I did not have at all the color antique gold, I think, was supposed to be for his belt buckle. So I did it with a, first I did with two strands of floss, I did the cross stitch. And then does everybody remember when Annette of Annette's Acre talked about when she does Krynik, she just does a half stitch over top of an already stitched X? That's what I did. And being that it was supposed to be an antique gold, it would be a little duller, for example, than... A full-on cross stitch with two strands <clears throat> so I think it came out kind of good I'm kind of happy with it uh, it was a little bit of make do and I'm happy I made do <laughs> I did that and he came out lovely so I'm thinking he's going to the framers on Monday I think I thought I maybe was going up that way today but I was thrown you know off schedule when the library wasn't open till noon all the things between the library and the post office nobody's open like nine to five anymore it's all kinds of noon to five and two to eight and our post office depending on which one you go to has all kinds of crazy hours so anyway my watch is doing things to me okay had to check it uh a project bag i made from a pattern that i purchased so i really can't do a uh you know tutorial or anything but it has a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back with a velcro Pocket. I don't think there's anything in there. Nope. And then because the way you attach the pocket, you get another pocket. I, uh, if I make them in the future, which I've made a lot of these, um, I like this pocket. I often leave this off. So, so this will get something new. This is going to get my new birthday start, which is, this was um, Jack's Tree Farm, right? Which has been out. For quite some time I mean you know within the year all the parts are released at this point but I'm going to do this was my birthday start Santa Claus taught me something about starts on a specific day of the year like on Christmas start or a birthday start when it started to look like maybe I wasn't gonna get him done by my birthday and so could I according to my own policing system start another birthday start when I hadn't finished the previous birthday start so that's what made me buckle down and focus on that Santa Claus so I thought this year I won't do such a complicated, it, this is a joke, a complicated Christmas or birthday start because this has got like seven parts. I, yeah, this is the biggest one. So this isn't like a tiny little thing. So don't ask, don't, whatever. But my objective, pull off the threads. Again, don't ask, shake your heads, just move on, is to do it all on one piece. Like <laughs> I had to buy a whole yard of summer sky, 32 count, and I'm starting with the first block in the middle, and I'll put three blocks on each side. Don't I don't know. Every time I see on the Little House Facebook page, I see somebody has done like a street scene of several of the, you know, town pieces or whatever. I always love it, love it. I can't get enough of it. I just stare at it and want to do it. And then I pull out all the pieces, and I can't figure out which four I would focus on. So it never goes anywhere. So I'm going to try this. This is the start of like the snow down under the house. 
I always start in the middle. Well, I started in the middle for sure on this, which was somewhere in here. And then I worked over with the snow and getting, I've done a little bit of like the framing of the door jam. I'm leaving, this may be the exact way it's um, charted at the end. I'm planning to leave the opposite end a little bit unfinished, not to stitch fully what it shows for the snow at the end until I pick which one's going to go next to it and how this snow should flow into that snow. So probably what I'll do is I'll go to the end of the tree and then I'll just stop and figure out what's going on with the next batch of snow. Do I want it to slope down and then swoop back up or do I want it to just be a continuation? I haven't really gotten as far as figuring out the entire layout. I did look and there's like the cookie stand and the hot cocoa stand. So I can put one of those on either side and there's a picture with either a car or a truck. There's one of each. So I can put one of those on either end, you know, so, so we go. Uh, it, there's two that have like a little curly cue at the top of the picture and that'll have to be left out. So I don't think that'll translate well, but I will, as I work my way through, figure those things out as I go. So this is way longer than it needs to be. I think the whole thing strung together is roughly 33 inches. And I bought, this is a whole yard, and so I think it's 54 inches. I'm not cutting anything off until I know what I'm doing. So that, so that. Uh, back to the birthday thing. Thank you again for all the birthday wishes on Instagram when I posted the Santa Claus, the Christmas, or the, yeah, birthday start and finish. Lots of birthday wishes, and then a few birthday presents, which is so very kind. I have a per a person I do an exchange with that I've done an exchange with for years. So uh, she sent me a birthday package that I opened yesterday, and I won't feature all the things because I don't like to do that. But um, <laughs> she, I directed her to my one. We do like a wish list for each other and stuff, and so I directed her to my one two three stitch wish list, and on there was this. So. Which I think is so stinking cute. I've never seen anybody do it. I've never seen anybody talk about it. I just saw it. I want to do it. So she sent me this and it, it came in a kit. And so the threads, I need to do the sorting and the fabric. And I have decided, because I can't, I couldn't seem to make a decision about a Christmas start. Last year I started um, Quaker Christmas 2. I forgot who that's by. Lila Studio? No. Uh -huh. I mean, to talk about a mammoth Christmas piece, I finished it. I finished that one in half a year at least, at best. I don't know. So, I But again, I don't want to start a huge thing that I can't finish. So when this came and I opened this last night, I thought, oh, that is going to be my Christmas start because I love that. So cute. So that. Uh, and then Lori, Lori, you, my friend, my stitchy friend, Lori, who she and I have very same taste, sent me these beautiful little, I love turquoise and silver. So she sent me those, love them. And she sent me uh, a couple things, but I'm just going to show this. Uh, little scissor fob. I like a scissor fob. Uh, I have to put these on. I like a scissor fob. Let me find, where's my camera? Where did I put it? Oh, see, I'm looking in the wrong direction because I know it's, I'm looking, yeah. Hmm. Well, here you go. No wonder I'm struggling. Isn't that cool? Love that. It's on, an, on a uh, Scrabble tile. So thank you, Lori. I so much appreciate that. She sent me some little ornament cuts of linen too, which is fabulous because you know how when you want to just do a little ornament, you don't want to like out of the edge of, out edge of a nice piece of linen that you don't know what else you want to do with it. Uh, we haven't celebrated my birthday here at home with the family, so we'll do that this weekend. Um, and what else? Oh, I got a couple things. I do have a couple things other than, I'm just looking around. I didn't even bring a lot of things because I didn't think I had a lot of things. I didn't think I'd fill almost half an hour, but here we go. Um, I did I did some shopping because that's what happens when you are, um, you know, I don't know, idle for a couple minutes. You find yourself on a sites 
I and I don't generally show what I got, but there's there's more about these than I have mentioned. Shannon Christine designs, and I bought I have a, several of hers that I haven't done yet. I got one out to start. I don't know a year or two ago. I don't know whenever. And it took so many threads that I didn't have that that I then moved on. So there's six of these designs that are newly out, and I just went through and I picked a few. I where did I buy them? I think I got them at Fat Quarter Shop on their like Black Friday sale. And if that wasn't it, I think so. I think that was it. So we're gonna see them all in all their shiny glory. And there's a point to me showing you these. Nowhere have I seen this. Actually, this one is not part of what I'm about to show you. Nowhere until I got these had I seen this, that they could be stitched all together. And so it's five of them. This is one big. And then the four small. So I have three. So I maybe I'm going to go back and get the other two so I can do the whole thing. I don't have a specific plan for what I will do with them. Santa Claus, I have the Santa Claus. I have the baby, it's cold outside. I have the sleigh. So that means I need to get the car and this one. Wondering why I didn't pick those in the first place, except that I know one of the other ones I have of hers involves maybe a truck with a tree on it or a car with a tree on it. And I'm a little, as much as I love this, I have loved this tree on the top of the car thing forever. I'm feeling a little overdone, like it's a little overdone. So that's probably why I didn't choose those. But if it can be an entire big piece, because you know I go big, I don't do just little things. Uh, and that's what I'll do. Um, we'll see, I'll think about it. I'll dwell on it for a while. It is Christmas, the time when I don't buy for myself all that much, but <clears throat> sometimes I do. All right, so one more thing. My, this, my, this is my Apple Watch, which, by the way, can I show it? I don't know if it'll turn. Okay, so, if it'll do its thing. Uh, my, the face on my Apple Watch, which I've never shown and talked about, is called the Toy Story Toy Box, I think. And every time you do it, something different happens. Every time you twist your wrist to see what you're... So that's not what draws attention. Nobody notices that. I'm waiting until I'm sitting next to like a five-year-old on an airplane. I'm like a, such a kid. Toy Story came out at such a like pivotal time in our life, my son. Um, so anyway, what draws attention is my watch band. People ask me about it all the time. But most recently, I had somebody ask, would I show a picture of it? An actual close-up of, of the watch band. So here is my watch band. I like silver jewelry. I like clunky jewelry. I have a bunch of Pandora bracelets. I don't wear them all the time. They're too clanky, bangy. And uh, if you work in an office and you spend a lot of time like writing or whatever, that constant banging on your surface is no fun. So I don't wear them all the time. I got started getting Pandora before Pandora was a popular thing. There weren't Pandora stores yet. There was a unique kind of family owned gift shop, real, kind of like a real upscale gift shop. And they had an ad on the radio. And then I went to the, they had a little store at the mall, but then their big fancy store in a neighboring town. And I went and looked at it and I thought, ooh, this stuff is nice. So I sent my husband for Christmas. I told him I wanted some Pandora beads, a Pandora necklace or whatever, and beads. And he got me actually a necklace and some beads. And it's never stopped since then. I have more than one necklace, type of necklace, and at least three bracelets. Um, so anyway, that's why the only reason I'm talking about that is because this is that same kind of style. Brighton jewelry, I'm a huge fan of Brighton jewelry. So my watch band, which like I said, people ask about it all the time, is from Amazon and it costs $20. So before y'all race to Amazon, I have one on my Christmas wish list that I'd like. I haven't asked anybody if they bought it for me. So before you buy them all, <laughs> leave me one, please. Uh, a different color. Now, they're, they're different in that I 
can't remember. I think maybe it's not all little beads right here, but maybe just one big bead. Something. This exact, exact style isn't there or hasn't been there when I have looked. Um, I could take the watch off so you could really see it, but I think you get the idea, right? Uh, not, not anything like the expensive, boring Apple watch bands. It's more like a piece of jewelry. You Google or Google, go to Amazon, search um, Apple watch bands. And if you know what size you need, like mine's a four, I don't know, 40 millimeter. I don't know. I know it. It's somewhere. I can look it up. And then it'll come up with all manner of watch bands that are bracelet-y and that kind of thing and much, 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 much less expensive than the ones that Apple sell. It has um, this adjustable. I have taken several links out, at least two links out of my watch band. Like every link snaps shut just like that. So uh, easy to do, just like adjusting a watch band. So there it is. Not a big honking fancy piece of jewelry, but it catches attention. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody with anything similar. So there you go. Gotta make sure I got it right side up. Sometimes I put it on upside down or whatever, because I can't remember which way goes what. And I actually swap out my watch band a lot too for some of the, I like the magnetic ones and I have some that are different colors. Um, so. Love my Apple Watch. I wear it every every day. I think I've worn it every single day since I got it for Christmas last year. And I didn't always used to be a, a watch where I'd have to take them off after a while because it just irritated my wrist. Or like I said, working in an office with your hands down to type on the keyboard and stuff. It just always was a nuisance. Um, but I wear it every day. I love the thing. Um, it lets you be without your phone a little bit. It lets you find your phone. There's a there's a thing on there, a button you can push, and it'll make your phone beep. So when you can't find your phone, you can beep it. Um, my, I left my phone somewhere once, and I, there was internet. My phone knew the internet where it was. So I really didn't need to worry about my watch still functioned. I got, no, whoops. Um, I'm moving it around a lot, and so it's kind of not resting on my wrist like it should to keep the keep me logged in but that's not a normal thing um so because I had my watch I could see there were emails I could get texts and I could get, get phone calls I can't make them off the watch I don't think maybe I can ask Siri to do that but that's not the big thing it's like if my kids need to call me or whatever I had my watch I can talk to them on there I like when you're driving in the car and you're using uh like maps on your you got to use maps on your iPhone it talks to your watch and the watch to me is more accurate with how far to the next turn. Like it starts to give a little vibrate that your turn is here. Like now put your blinker on, you're turning at the next left. Whereas I look at the picture on the phone and I'm like, is it this left or the next one? Because the distance just feels like I should be driving further. And because your watch is positioned so you know, easy to, to glance down at when you are getting an indication or an instruction from your map from your phone or your, uh, you know, on the car screen. Um, I really like that. What else do I like about it? It tells me the time. It's fun to play with. Uh, Siri is on there and she talks to me all the time, even though I don't request her. I don't know. She always, always says things like, sorry, I didn't get that. I'm like, I wasn't talking to you, but whatever. She's there if I need her. So there you go. There's my information about the, uh, watch band and the watch all the things um hopefully maybe i'll make another video before the year ends i really can't promise anything i don't know if i have something worthy of showing i'll be back otherwise i hope everybody's having a great holiday season if you celebrate or a great winter and that the weather is however it is you like it to be wherever you are i like snowy and cold i don't like to have to drive in it that's always kind of the bummer, too. So, anyway, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Have a good one. Bye-bye.